There are so many dupes of Delina out there, but is this the best one of them all? Watch until the end and you'll find out. And hello everyone, I'm Miri and let's start with the scent profile comparison and I'll try to emphasize the differences so you would know what to expect and how these two perfumes smell. Both Delina and Club de Nuit White Imperial open with a tart lychee note and in both you get rose in the background, but Delina has has a rhubarb note and because of that it's fruitier and slightly bit barrel and like there are some red berries in the opening while the Club de Nuit Imperial is more citrusy oriented and it has a nutmeg in the opening which gives like a spicy peppery vibe to this fragrance. I would describe the opening of Delina as a scent of raspberry lychee cocktail that is both sour and fruity while Club de Nuit Imperial smells in the opening like sugared slices of bergamot in the mineral water. It's very fresh, sharp and citrusy. Both perfumes have a powdery vanilla rose heart but in the Delina rose is the most prominent floral note while in the white Imperial rose and peony are equally noticeable on my skin. Also there is a slight difference in the way rose is done in these two perfumes. Rose in Delina is full faceted, it's fresh, green, watery but creamy at the same time while the rose in our mouth is quite soft, powdery and like it's mixed with vanilla ice cream. Although I don't think that rose in Delina is a simple rose scent you can smell in the garden. It's very nuanced and complex. If I have to put it very simply, the difference between roses in these two perfumes, I would say that rose in Delina is more a scent of realistic fresh rose, while Armaf's rose is more a gourmand vanilla type of rose. In Delina, Leach still plays an important role even in the heart and it gives a fresh, bright and tart vibe to the overall rose scent, while the overall vibe of our mouth is much creamier, fluffier and powdery compared to the Delina. In Delina, vanilla is underneath other notes and it gives a bit of sweetness, while in our mouth, vanilla is very prominent and it's combined with rose and peony, so it creates a soft, pillowy, powdery rose scent. In the base, Delina becomes muskier and woodier, while the Armov becomes smokier, more incensey and powdery. Delina could be described as the scent of rose ice cream because throughout the length of this perfume, this scent has an airy, fresh quality. While Armov is like a rose vanilla cake without sweetness, it's much more powdery, pillowy and creamy. Neither one of these two perfumes is too sweet in my opinion, but Delina is definitely more feminine while our mouth leans towards unisex and masculine because it has a smoky incense note. If this video was informative and helpful so far, click the like button and subscribe because that's an important feedback to me how interesting and helpful this video was for you. And now let's continue with the comparison, which perfume would you like more? If you prefer powdery and smoky accords in perfumes and if you're into non-sweetened vanilla scent and if you like citruses, white imperial will suit your taste better. But if you're more into a fresh sour lychee and you like rose musk combination and woody accords, go for Delina. I would say that our mouth is more appropriate for colder weather because it's powdery and it has smoky base and because of that it can be a bit cloying in the summer but considering that Delina Eau de Parfum is fresher, it's tart and sour even in the heart and the rose is greener than in our mouth, I think Delina would be a better choice for spring and summer. There is a significant difference in how these two perfumes will make you feel and while I was testing them side by side, I asked others, my family members, friends to tell me which one smells more expensive, elegant, etc. because I didn't want to be influenced by the price tag between these two perfumes. And 
If you want a perfume that will make you feel expensive, aristocratic, old money and proper ladylike, then regardless of people not knowing which perfume costs more, 90% of them told me that more expensive and luxurious scent was Delina. There is just something in this perfume that makes you feel like you've escaped from the Victorian era where you lived in a huge mansion. But if you want to smell like a really cool it girl, a girl that is popular and chill, that is pretty and playful at the same time, go for our moth. So people comparing these two perfumes told me that Delina smells more expensive and elegant. But our moth smells cooler and like an it girl, probably because it leans a bit more unisex. Club de Nuit White Imperial will definitely remind you of Delina, but this is not an exact dupe. Therefore, you can have them both because they're not the same. But personally, considering I'm not a perfume collector, I don't see the need to have two similar scents in my collection. I would say that our moth is about 70% similar to Delina because Delina is more sour and fresh while our moth is like creamier and more powdery. So no, this is not the closest dupe of Delina so far, but it is one of the best executed ones and I really enjoy it. White Imperial is like a love child between Delina Eau de Parfum and Delina Exclusive. It has the freshness and sourness of the original Delina and powdery creamy rose together with a smoky incense dry down that corresponds to the oud dry down and the Delina Exclusive. Considering the performance, both perfumes are beast mode fragrances, no need to really apply so you can't go wrong with either one of them. Of course that our moth is slightly rough on the edges in comparison to Delina but a huge improvement I see in White Imperial in comparison to other our moths Club de Nuit releases is that there is no alcoholic opening and the scent is much smoother than other Club de Nuit perfumes. I would rate the scent profile and performance of the Delina as 9.5 out of 10 and the scent profile and performance of our moth as 8.5 out of 10. Honestly, considering the huge difference in the price, I think you're safe going with our moth and not getting Delina. If someone had or smelled Delina before, yes, that person might be able to tell differences between these two perfumes, but otherwise, Whoever smells you will think you just smell amazing and both perfumes are a huge compliment getters. Since I've had Delina for quite some time, in the end I've decided that Armov won't be staying in my collection because currently it is redundant. But if you want to save your Delina for special occasions and use Armov as an everyday perfume, then it won't be redundant for you. But if I didn't have Delina, I would pick Armov instead because it's pretty similar and considering the performance and the price, it's an absolute bargain. Tell me in the comments comments would you pick dupe or the original and what do you think of these two perfumes also i've put in-depth reviews of both perfumes in the description box so you can check them out later and if you're interested whether darcy or coco mademoiselle is a better option in my opinion click on this video and i will see you there